Okay, so I've been building up quite a collection of useless enchanted books. I thought maybe I'd try enchanting one on camera for a change to see if my luck was any better. At any rate, I've <laughs> made some cosmetic work on the island here. I think it's pretty much done-ish. Uh, oh, I do want to put some vines hanging off of this. Ooh, and I don't like that. Eh. Why? Huh, spacebar is not working for a minute there. Uh, I've still got it hollow just so mobs can go ahead and spawn in there. The more in the, or inside, the lesser on top at any rate. And put some grass, put some leaves hanging off. I wasn't sure how I liked those at first. I think they're kind of growing on me, no pun intended. Uh, they might even look better a little bit longer than they are. But I'll fiddle with that a bit later. Uh, I think next we're going to extend this way and start a new island. Uh, I'm thinking I'm going to put a lecture hall over here, or a kodo. And I already turned the book repository into an enchanting station uh, without anywhere to store the books. So I'm thinking probably the lecture hall seems like a fairly legit place to to store our extra books, and I'm already having second thoughts about leaving this hollow, because this is ridiculously noisy. But at any rate, I'm going to go get some supplies and head on back here. Now, as I start building this, I have to say I'm a little unsure how to format this type of episode. Because I know what a lot of people do in Minecraft Let's Plays. Well, they're really... There's sort of two extremes that people tend to lean toward one or the other. One is to do sort of what I'm doing right now, which is to basically treat the Let's Play like a vlog. And just talk about what they're, what they're thinking and feeling or what went on in their day while they're just sort of building in the background. And uh, uh, I suppose one of the pros of that is that you can get a lot of episodes out very quickly with fairly minimal effort. Uh, of course the downside is there's really not much to those episodes, it's just you talking. Not a whole lot getting done in the world. Uh, the other extreme would be the people who, well, and I should say about that first, that first type, it tends to favor people who, people watch them for them. The, the channel is really more about their personality than it is about what they're getting built. Uh, the opposite extreme would be the people who are there to showcase something specific, something that they're building. And those people tend to make a lot of progress in each episode, uh, usually usually taking a lot longer, whereas the more vloggy style ones are pretty much an entire episode of real time whatever. The, the people who try to make more progress per episode, they could spend days, sometimes weeks, working on a single video. So they don't get as much out, but what they do get out tends to be more impressive on an episodic scale, anyway. And of course, most people are going to fall somewhere in between these these two. No, it's pretty rare in anything in life that people will really gravitate bleh, really gravitate towards one of the extremes. But, I've noticed a lot of the people recently who tended to be pretty close to the first extreme have started started swaying a little bit more toward the middle, starting to have more cuts, more editing, more real progress in their building per episode. I don't know if that's just a coincidence, or maybe if that's starting to to lose popularity with the viewership. I don't know. 
And I don't know what you guys prefer. Do you like to see this? <laughs> Do you like to see pairs of blocks getting slapped down every 0.25 seconds? Or do you like the... Do you like the jumps to where things are more complete? Even though it means you're only going to get an episode maybe about once a week, once every two weeks, maybe even once a month. Because I know I do tend to gravitate t more towards the the second style. Do I have enough blocks for this? Of putting a lot into each episode. Oh, I think I have exactly enough. Look at that. Where I, I tend to make a lot of progress in each episode. I'll spread myself to death there. Uh, the downside to that being that it takes a long time to make each individual episode. The last episode I made, I think took about two weeks. And that's just for like, I think it was about 12 minutes. I do try and keep the episodes fairly short as it is, because I know half hour tends to be about the norm, but sometimes you don't you don't feel like watching an entire half hour at once. And also because I have some internet problems and anything longer than that and the quality starts to drop real far and real fast. So I'm not sure which of those which of those two sides of the coin to gravitate towards. And if there's a preference any of you out there have, be sure and let me know, and I will try my best to accommodate. And... I've, oh, I also brought some of those roots that I was going to put under this island, and some torch berries, which I keep almost calling blink roots, but that's terraria. So I'm going to go ahead and slap some of those under here, start expanding this a bit, and finishing the build, which I really won't I don't think you guys need to see a whole lot more of that because it's going to look a whole lot like what we've already got. So, I'll, what do I keep saying? I'll catch you when I've got more of that done. I'm going to try and avoid catchphrases. Uh, I will alert you when more building has occurred. I'll work on it. Alright, so more building has occurred, and I've mostly got this done. One of the problems I've run into here, though, is most of these buildings I'm basing off of photos of actual uh, Buddhist temples in Japan. Uh, not all of these buildings are from the same temple, though, so it's sort of a big hodgepodge mishmash, but I'm okay with that. One of the problems, though is I think there must be some kind of rules about taking indoor pictures because I can't find any pictures of interiors. So all of that I'm just sort of having to to wing it. I'll fix those holes. Uh, but this is the Kodo, I believe it was called, which is a sort of a study hall. And I'm going to let you guys have some influence over how I decorate the inside of this because I don't really know of any official inside, so your best guess is as good as mine. I brought some bookshelves, because I figured being a study hall it would probably have some type of that sort of thing. It'll give me somewhere to put the books from over there. And I brought several different types so we can compare them all. Got the birch ones there, putting some oak here. And I'm not sure exactly how I'll lay out the building, but I'm just trying to put these sort of for color comparison. And this is a spruce one and a jungle one. So I'm not sure which of these has the best contrast or lack thereof with the other building materials. And I also bought, uh, bought, yeah, I went out to the store and bought some uh, desks. There's a birch desk because I thought maybe if perhaps if people were studying here they would have desks of some kind which you can also put books into in case you didn't know that is a birch here is that must have been a jungle wood desk 
here we've got a spruce desk and an oak desk. So I'm not sure which of these really have the most appropriate coloring for where we are. I think I kind of like the spruce. But it's a tough call. Well, it's not so tough with the jungle. I think I really don't like the jungle. But I will... I will leave it to you, the viewers, to decide if we want bookshelves or desks or a, some kind of combination thereof and of what wood type you want. Alright, so I've also added a Tori over here. And it looks a little derpy. It's going to need some retooling. And I know those belong outside of Shinto shrines. And what I'm building here is more of a Buddhist temple. Um, tough. <laughs> uh, I, I want to put it there, and I'm putting it there. You want to fight about it? Uh, also over here, we're starting to build a... I forget exactly what it's called, but a bell tower. And also, hopefully, next time, I'm going to move into working on the interiors of these buildings. Because none of that has been done yet. So do please give some feedback about this guy. And I think for now, that's going to be about it. Uh, we're also going to finish up the machine hub a bit next time. And hopefully finally get into some bees. And I've been, I've been pretty wishy-washy about that. But until next time...